today's creative lifestyle. We're going to do something that I have not succeeded at doing since childhood, which is painting nails. I, I can do it to save my life because I always touch something and I mess it up. And we have the best person to help us do that, Marie Noel Yakubu. She's the CEO of Marie Noel's Spa and Salon. And throughout our conversation, if you have any questions for her, let us know with the hashtag and the WhatsApp line on your screens. Good morning, Marie Noel. Good morning. How are you? Very well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. Now, painting nails like a pro, where do we even start from? What products should we be looking at? Tell us. <laughs> anyway, um, painting nails like a pro, it's not, uh, it shouldn't be scary. Don't worry about it. I mean, you saying that it's something you try doing <laughs> since do childhood. Have the discipline wow. to do it. <laughs> well, it's um, first of all, bef before we start, I would say that um, you need to make sure your nail bed is taken care of. Okay. Okay. Because um, if you're going to polish nails and your nail bed is not right, <clears throat> The polish is not going to be smooth. Ah. So yes. So how do you take care of all, that? Okay, so I can see your nails are neatly manicured. Oh really? Yeah. You don't, I mean, you don't have a. Problem. You're not giving me fans. Oh, I'm, I'm not giving you fans. <laughs> it's a fact. Okay. Yeah. So I can see you don't have any ridges on your nail. Mm. So you don't. You're one of those people who just have, you know, a, a healthy looking nail. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, but if but, I didn't, uh -huh. what would I have needed to do we, to get okay. it here? If you didn't, then you seek professional advice. So okay. if you came to the spa mm -hmm. with your nails looking um, ridged, mm -hmm. I would have actually um, used like calcium nail polishes to treat your nail bed mm -hmm. before starting anything. Okay. Yeah. And what would that do to it? And it will help it smoothing out um, and it would make, make the nail polish look nicer because nice. that's the final product that you're looking yeah, for yeah now it's corona season a lot of people want to learn how to do things at home what are the products we would need to to assemble to get the nail polish right if mm. we're at home um well i would say that um nail products for us to be on the safe side we should use products like scopi Okay. Yeah. What is um, that? SE is a brand. Okay. I've used it over the years. It's both professional and home service nice. as well. So um, with those ones, you don't have any problem. Because what happens is sometimes if you use polishes mm -hmm. that are not too good and your base coat is not good enough, mm. then you're damaging your nails. Ah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So um, base coats and good nail polishes, you know, is, is, is the way to go. Okay. So I recommend SE and OPI. Okay. Yeah. I've used that um, over the past years and it's worked very well for me mm. yeah now what tools do we should we have at home because a lot of us just take the nail polish and we're good we just plaster it and we're done um well as you can see i've actually packed the home kit here yeah for, what do we have in for there? the viewers we have um so we have cuticle nippers we have um I, uh, Cuticle oil. Oh, we can open it and walk yeah, them through it. Yeah, you can open it. Please, go ahead. Cuticle Show us oils. what we have here and what, what they are used for. Okay, so this is a money pedi. Um, how do you call it? It's a manicure pedicure set. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we have the the pedicure soap. That's okay. what you use to soap your nails before you ah, start in. This is what they will pour in exactly. the water. Exactly. Okay. And then this is a foot scrub. Okay. And then you have the pumice stone. Yeah. And then wow. you have the 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 stick, mm -hmm. the pumice stick. You have the cuticle oil. Nice. Yes. You have the buffer. You have the manicure buffer here as well. Mm -hmm. You have the emery board. You have the nipper. And then you have the trimmer. Wow. Yes. So and if you are not a professional oil. and you don't know what you need, you can just come to you. Exactly. You've already done you the work get for a us. Home kit. Exactly. And we get the kit and yes. then we go home. Yes. What do we use all um, these things for? for? How to use it? Yes. Okay. So the first thing we are doing um, nails, nails today. today. See, so we are ba we are um, targeting your fingers. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you do is you use the antiseptic. Okay. You know to sterilize and sanitize. Okay. okay before we start anything. Okay. So if you're home and you're by yourself, then you don't need this okay. because you know, your environment is already sterile. And then the next thing you do is you push the cuticles, okay? okay. This is a cuticle trimmer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So after the antiseptic, you apply the cuticle softener. Okay. When you're finished applying the cuticle softener, you use the trimmer 
mm -hmm. to push the cuticles because more often than not your cuticles are stuck on your nails yeah. especially when you're not somebody who does your nails all the time yeah. like me so, <laughs> we'll get you to come to do it all the time yeah I'll so start you coming push, to visit you. do that do that <laughs> you push the nails and then after pushing the nails you you clean it okay. now the trick here is if you're not a professional mm -hmm. I wouldn't advise you use the trimmer oh. you should just push it and clean you around might mess the it cuticle up. I yeah. try doing it at home and then I end up peeling my skin and it's not good it's not yeah. healthy okay. you don't want anything comp like any complications okay. so you make sure you just push it and then just make sure the cuticle is above the nail so that it breathes ah. reason why you're doing that is because you want your cuticle area to breathe okay. yeah. I love your nails by the way thank you <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah mm -hmm. after that you clean and then you wash your hands okay. so you take care of the dead skin around your cuticle okay. you wash your hands now polishing like a pro that's tricky yes. Let's get into it. We're gonna paint like a pool. Yeah, that's tricky, but so, we can all do it. So that, Noel has all these, you know, goodies for you if you want to do it at home. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now mm -hmm. is immediately you finish um, doing your main manicure. Mm -hmm. You have to use alcohol. Mm -hmm. What the alcohol does is just to dry your nail bed out, so okay. that when you apply base coats, nail polish, top coat it stays longer ah, this is where the trick is okay. if you don't apply if you don't clean it properly mm -hmm. with the alcohol to make sure that your nail bed is dry mm -hmm. imagine you put anything on it is just it's going, going to, to stay the there dirt. for just a little while yeah. and the dirt is going to also sit on so after that you clean the nail with alcohol dab okay. it and then do you want me to wear the polish for of you now of course i'm like <laughs> So I've been we waiting do, for this. We do, we do that with all the nails. <laughs> okay. Quickly. Mm -hmm. At home, but thorough. Okay. Yeah. When you finish cleaning the whole nail bed, mm -hmm. you use your clean towel. Make sure you get the excess alcohol off. Oh. I mean, it evaporates anyway. Yeah. So when you finish doing that, you now take your base coat. Mm. Okay, so this is my holy grail. Uh -huh. This base coat makes your nails, you know, set for two weeks. Wow. Yes, without chipping. Okay. So you have to use a An very base good coat. base coat. Okay. This has all. This also has calcium in it, so it's good for your natural nail bed. Nice. So this is a a, a manicure base coat, coat. Okay. not just any ordinary base coat. Because okay. if you have artificial nails on and you're wearing ordinary base coat, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But for your natural nail, we need to protect your nail before we put the nail polish on. Oh, so yeah. we'll do the base coat. Okay. And when you're applying base coat, make sure that you apply it not too close to the cuticle. Why? Because reason being, I don't want it to look smudgy. Oh. What is going to happen is because you're not a pro mm. and you're doing it at home, always make sure by your nail walls, you leave a little space. Okay. Yes. So that... The, it's it's nice on the eyes. Okay, so yeah. you're gonna show us how yes. it's done, guys. So get out your base coats now. <laughs> yes. So base coat, coat application is pretty simple. Okay. You dab the brush. You can see what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm making sure viewers make sure mm -hmm. that you you press the top of the brush, okay, against the bottle, mm. so that this whole side doesn't have any polish on what reason why I'm doing that is because if the nail polish mm -hmm. is on the um, the brush yeah. and you don't dab it halfway so what is going to happen it will run yeah so if I just put it on it will flow it will just go over and everywhere your skin over and there. smudge all over okay. so make sure you always do that okay take it out of the bottle you need to rest your nail okay and then you go from the middle down okay. exactly and make sure whilst you're doing that you are not you're not um going over the polish you have already put on because it dries mm. very fast yeah i can see it's already yeah. drying if you don't if you don't work fast with it and then again you are not a pro exactly um if you're if you're doing it just make sure when you do the first application you don't go over it again okay so that it doesn't have those ridges yeah. and um have bubble air in there okay yeah well guys i'm getting my nails done from the boss herself for Marie Noel's Spa and Salon. If you have any questions 
about polishing your nails like a pro for her, let us know. The hashtag is Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line is 0550-585832. Just because we are not in normal times does not mean we shouldn't look good. And she already has a packet for you if you want to take it home and do it yourself at, at home as well. So we've done the first part. And how important is it to use the base coat before you use whatever colorful polish you want to use? Well, we'll continue. Yeah. <laughs> so base coat, base coat uh, basically what it does is it protects the nails and it adds more um, nutrients to ah. your nails. So this is not just an ordinary base coat. This is a calcium-based base, base coat. coat. Okay. So if, say, you have thin nails, mm -hmm. brittle nails, and you use this base coat, it's going to strengthen it ah. and it will, yeah, it will make the appearance look better so even shopping for nail polish you, uh -huh. should, you should use very... calcium based okay. nail polish okay. and you should use cheap free nail, nail, polish. nail polish because if you're using um, calcium based mm -hmm. and it's not cheap free it then, might still chip you well then you're just using it on your natural nails without actually applying a regular nail polish mm. exactly because my, my nails sometimes they, they, they chip off okay like they'll be peeling off okay so for someone like you with your nails chipping are your nails brittle ah, don't you wouldn't know. know okay do they this fall why you off need to see a professional you have to <laughs> you have to no doubt about that you have to yeah so um if let's say you're one of those people whose nails just fall off mm -hmm. without any reason at reason. all. Then you have to use a calcium. Sometimes you even have to take calcium pills to help to help your... grow your hair your nails because every individual is different yeah. what i mean you have at ha maybe i don't have it True. you know so we just have to help ourselves so yeah so after yeah, applying the base coats mm -hmm. because it's so like fast it dry looks beautiful it is it does so because it fast dry mm -hmm. you know you don't have to wait for a, long um, for a long time before it dries out okay. sorry my mask is just <laughs> it just keeps coming <laughs> down worry. yeah <laughs> okay so looking at your nails you don't you don't typically have um a big nail bed mm. yours is medium okay so what happens with people like you and for you not to waste so much time we use um nail brushes that are quite um, big okay okay so the reason why I brought this two is to show you the difference okay so for viewers if you have a um, mm -hmm. small nail bed mm -hmm. make sure you use brands like Essie because okay. the brush is smaller than the OPI brush ah, okay you know you need to take all that into consideration because yeah. if you w use a big brush imagine you're using a big brush on a small nail It'll what is it going to to look like yeah. the nail polish is going to smudge and go overboard mm -hmm. not to say you can't you know clean it mm -hmm. or I'll show you how to do that too but yeah. I mean to save time why mm -hmm. don't we use something that works we'll work. okay so, so we'll, use, this we'll use a medium, a medium brush, brush for you okay. yeah so we come back viewers please make sure when you're wearing the polish same application we did with the base coat uh -huh. we are doing with the nail polish okay. okay make sure you dab the edge of the brush then you just have one ball so you start from the middle all the way down don't brush over it come to the side and then the next side there you go. Wow. So you don't have any smudge. You know, yeah. it's not it's not outside the nail wall. Everything is just beautiful. Exactly. So we make sure we keep the nail polish not too close to the cuticle, not too far away, mm -hmm. but just so you know it's easier okay. and nicer. And make sure when you're applying the nail polish, when you come all the way down, make sure you come to the free edge of the nail so that the whole nail bed looks nice wow how do your clients feel when when they are done after a visit and they, they just look beautiful oh they're happy they're happy and it's a relaxing th i mean it's it's it, it's relaxing it's good it, it looks good the outcome is always nice they're happy they are yeah. they are they are in heaven <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so in this corona season period how important is it for us to know how to do these things ourselves of course i think i would i think for the first 
two visits, we should probably see a professional like you till we know exactly what we are doing. Okay, so good question. Mm. I just took delivery of this um, product. It's a humidifier. Okay. It's called Sun Sun Sun's Air. Mm -hmm. yeah, air good Air Suns. Okay. Yes. What it does is um, it has a, a, a tablet. Mm -hmm. You drop it in. It's a C102 tablet. Mm -hmm. It's a, a how do you call it? A chloride. Okay. It disinfects the air okay. and then it kills the virus nice. so once you come in to You're the fine. spa you are already in a sterile environment nice. and then I mean so that when people are coming to the spa they are confident that you know they are not going to interact with and, and the there ladies you guys and, have it this is the experience you're gonna get yeah, it's exactly wow yeah so it's gorgeous mm -hmm. thank you wow. and and what made you choose this path to, to help Everybody look beautiful, not just women. Absolutely, because men go Absolutely. to the spa yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, men yeah. Need everybody to needs to, exactly yeah. grooming. <laughs> it's important. Yeah, it's good yeah, for yeah, our yeah. mental and emotional it health. It is. It is. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. How long have you been in the space? Um, I've been. <laughs> it's over two decades now. Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> um, First of all, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. I've been in the spa business for 23 years now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What are your, how has it grown over the years? Um, you think Ghanaians been, are now paying more attention to? Oh, yeah, a lot of young people, old people, you know. I have um, the ages from 18, even 16, yeah, all the way up i i i had my oldest client was 90. wow yes now i'm receiving a message from a viewer called richard mensa who has a very big crush on you and he's wondering if you can tell him <laughs> your age because he's so smitten <laughs> but since 23 years i think you're way out of his league now you've been working for I'm 23 years yeah, yeah 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 i'm a mother wow. and i'm married with four children jesus yes, christ yes, yes, yes okay you yes, have to come yes. back and talk about <laughs> women taking care of ourselves yeah, oh, and, definitely. and chasing our dreams oh yeah most uh, definitely post kids everything else you definitely. look beautiful thank you thank I, you I, I thought we were age mates oh. now i'm now i'm like let me humble myself <laughs> <laughs> where do we find uh marie noel um so we have um our location we have one in osu mm -hmm. osu is the mother company okay. so we have a beauty school at osu oh, as nice. well yes so we train students and um uh, we do refresher courses for other spas and salon as well wow okay yes. so you because, definitely come back oh, to yeah. help with <laughs> entrepreneurship ch tips because a lot of people have lost their jobs now and are trying yeah, to figure do out something. what to do uh, yeah but not only do we do nails mm -hmm. besides the school um our newest product we are introducing is the yoni product i don't What's know if you've heard i have no yoni idea what goes on you don't know about the v steam i'm like that i'm the worst <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> tell us about yoni okay so it's um it's a vaginal rejuvenation oh. <laughs> yes. Maybe I should know yes. what that is. Yes, you should. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. Yeah, but it's good for the viewers to also know that not only are you taking care of your yeah, JJ. Exactly. Is it like after yeah. you have a baby or before, just in general? Before, before, before. It's okay. it's good for rejuvenation. Okay. It's good for order. Okay. You know how is it like to tighten it or it, it does tightening? Ooh. So we have different types. Okay. We have different types. <laughs> yeah. So I'll elaborate on that. Yeah. You come back and we'll talk about self-care. Because I, I need to, you know, we, we need tips on our, our self-care. I still have with me Marie Noel Yakubu and we are done. So beautiful. My hands. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm happy you like it. I love it. Where do we follow you on social media? How do we find you? Um, we're on Facebook, Marino Oil Spa. Um, Twitter, Marino Oil Spa. Um, Instagram, um, Pumped by Marino Oil Spa. Thank you so yeah. much, Marino. And our website is www.marinoilspa.com. Thank you. Yes. We're all going to pump ourselves. And to four, I'll be taking you. Oh, you will be taking me. We'll take ourselves for some self-care. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, it's been a great show, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for staying with us for Breakfast Daily. My name is Jifa Ikea Amatam. And my name is Nana Tufobwat, and it's always a pleasure coming your way. Stay safe. We will see you 7.30 tomorrow, and we're going to go do some self-care now. Yeah. So, bye. <laughs> <laughs>